George, ready, set, research. So my name is George Clark. I'm a PhD candidate in the Department of Physics and Astronomy. I'm about to give you a quick crash course on my research. So in our solar system, some of the planets have these giant magnetic fields. As, sh as shown here is this gray diffusive blob around the planet Saturn. Now, although these magnetic fields are created by these complicated processes, you can essentially think of them as giant bar magnets in space. When charged particles such as ions and electrons interact with these magnetic fields, very interesting dynamics can occur. One of them being the northern lights that we see here on Earth. So for, so unlike Earth, however, where we are making detailed measurements of our local space environment with spacecraft since the 1960s, we, load, we know little about the space environments of other planets in our solar system. So the fun part is, Back in the 90s, the US and Europe teamed up and developed a spacecraft called Cassini, which is shown right here, to go to Saturn and to make detailed measurements of its space environment. And so as part of my research, I get to use this data and try to understand what's going on in Saturn. So currently, I'm, I'm leading a study that looks at, with, that I work with scientists within uh, the US and Germany to try to understand the global and statistical nature of the charged particles interacting with the magnetic field at Saturn. Um, so my research has revealed that there are three distinct regions around Saturn where the charged particles behave vastly different. And, uh, sorry the timer threw me off. <laughs> uh, so where the, where the particles behave vastly different. So the natural question that we like to ask a scientist is why, but for, as of right now, we're still, it's still ongoing research and we're still trying to understand this. However, for the first time, we have been taking the measurements from the spacecraft and applying it to a physics-based model. And we are starting to learn new, we're starting to discover new interactions at Saturn that are unlike anything here at Earth. I believe this research is very exciting because not only are we making new discoveries at a planet like Saturn, but we are also learning more about the context of our home planet within the solar system. And furthermore, astro astronomers have discovered over 700 Saturn-sized planets orbiting other stars. So perhaps we can take this knowledge that we're learning from our neighboring planets and apply it to other planetary systems. Thank you very much.